Hey guys, this is Geo from Gaming with Geo, and today I am back doing another Idle Heroes video. I asked you guys to just kind of put in the comments what you thought would be a cool videos for me, more content to put out besides just the summoning videos. And so today we're here on my kind of main account. I'm not super active on it anymore, but um. And I'm just going to go over the two new light and dark heroes. I think it's like, is it like Michelle and some something, something super weird. Um, let's see. Michelle or Michael, I can't, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure it'd be Michelle because the, there's boobs there, so. And then <laughs> let's go over to Das Mo Mohe. I don't know. Or Moj. I have no idea, but yeah, we're just going to check out those two heroes today. Uh, I don't know if. Yeah, no, so we're just going to check out those two. And it'll be a really quick video. Someone just requested this, so thank you guys for watching, and let's get started. Um. We're gonna get started with the Michelle, and right off the bat, I see that she's a ranger. I didn't realize that because, like, looking at her first skill, it kind of seems like a priest kind of skill. But she, like all around, let's let's go through her skills. Deals one hundred thirty percent of attack damage against three random enemies, and forty percent chance to stun. See the one hundred thirty percent of attack. Is pretty solid considering she has 73, so that's probably like what, like 9,000 attack damage against three random enemies. But the 40% chance to stun is actually what would like what would sell me on this this hero because stun is it's just it's just so helpful and it's pretty great. Um, also, the heal. For 240% of attack damage, considering her attack damage is 7,000, she'd have, what, 14, she'd heal for 17,000 after she does her skill, and that is pretty crazy, especially just at 6 star level. Um, so this skill right here is, I would have to say, pretty OP, so just everything they put in there and how it works together. Um... Increase true damage by 48%, attack by 25%, speed by 30%. Alright, um... So, the attack and the speed are already in here. So, you guys, we can already see them in her 826 speed and her 7300 attack. So, that's not... But the true damage, I am under, like... I think, I'm not positive on this, guys, that true damage is when her attack 7,300, but when she actually attacks, it's increased by 48% true damage, so she does more attack, 48% more, than just the 7,300. Because that's just, it's true damage, and so that's what I, I'm, that's what I've been told it was, but I'm not 100% sure, so please don't quote me on that. Passive skill has a 100% chance to resurrect with 80% HP after death. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. That's just like sleepless and sleepless is very OP. So that's, that's actually pretty huge. So she's now the, the second hero that can resurrect and that is pretty cool. Um, passive skill increased control immune by 75%. Oh, geez. So she's immune to... Like, what exactly, though? Control immune. I'm not really understanding that. I want to say she's, like, just immune to, like, 75% immune to stuns and um, bleeds and um, poisons and stuff like that. But Sorry, guys. I'm actually pretty tired. It's pretty early here. Um, yeah, so overall... That's what I want to say this last skill is, the redemption of Michelle too. But overall, even if that last skill was just anything else really, this she's 
she seems pretty OP. I haven't even seen her like in action yet or playing, but it seems like a pretty badass hero. And so now let's go over. I would definitely, if I, <laughs> I would definitely be very grateful if I was to summon her. Um, hint, hint, idol heroes. So um, now let's go to Das Mo, whatever. I don't know how to say his name. Um, I already looked at this dude earlier. I see that he's a ranger as well, but he kind of has more of more like ranger type skills. Um, sorry guys, I'm still like sick and I've been sick for like ever and I don't know it's going to go away. So I just still wanted to get videos out for you guys. Um, and thank you guys for watching. But before we start this, please just like, comment, subscribe. If you would like to see more, I try to post videos a few times a week. I'm just starting out, so that's what I'm going to try to do. I don't really have, like, a track record on that yet, but you guys know. Um, comment any suggestions or anything you guys think I should do better. Um, any videos I should probably I should do you guys think would be cool. Um, yeah, and then just like and subscribe if you want more and you want to see more. Thank you, guys. Let's get started on... I, I'm not going to try to say his name. Um... Active skill deals 60% of attack damage against all enemies, dealing 28% of attack damage. See, I read over this earlier, and it's kind of actually pretty confusing. So, 60% of attack damage against all enemies, dealing 28% of attack damage. Extra 64% of attack damage against rangers each round for 3 rounds. Okay. So he deals 60% of attack damage against everyone. And then he's dealing 28% of attack damage. And an extra 64% of attack damage against rangers for 3 rounds. Jesus, come on. They always make their skills super confusing. Anyway, this is just kind of sounds like a damage skill. I think it's less powerful than the, um, the Michelle, the Hurt. Her main skill. But it does seem... If, like, if, you, <laughs> if you're going up against a ranger squad, they better... <laughs> they better hang on. Um, they probably won't very long, though. Because this is a pretty powerful skill against rangers, it seems. Plus, he's hitting all enemies. So he's... He kind of could just be, like... he. It's kind of a crowd control skill. Just to, you know, get every... Just take out as many as we can. As fast as we can, so... Um, and then also increase skill damage by 50%. So attack 25% HP by 25%. All right. Um, I'm not really sure if this increased skill damage is already in here, but if it's not, then that would get, that would get way, that would get a, even a lot stronger than it already is. Um, so I'll have to look into that and let you guys know in our next video, I'll just... I'll just kind of shoot it out there during, like, a summons video or something. Like, hey, by the way, um, attack is a one increase self-attack by 28 and 10% speed. But So every time he's attacked, it increases his attack by 10% and speed by 10 for three rounds. Um, so I don't know if that can stack on top of them, because if so, then he should be able to get, like, a 30% attack boost and 10% attack at 30 speed for three rounds. And that'd bring him to 823, which is pretty pretty fast. Michelle was also pretty fast. I don't know if you guys saw. She's 820, which is also pretty fast. It's probably, that's like above average. Uh, <clears throat> but 30% attack boost would definitely help with this skill too. Um, and passive skill each ally attack grants you plus 9% skill damage and 10 energy. Oh, so that's cool. So the energy is what allows you to do your first main skill. And so... And then each... Uh, and that doesn't wear off. Jeez. Okay, now the skills... Now it's, it's pretty OP because... Every time an ally skill attacks... You get plus 9% skill damage. So you're thinking about like... If you, they get like 10... You have what? 2 in the back front row. 4 in the back row. So there's 6 people on your team. 
if any five of them do a skill attack, which they will, and they get like 10 out in the first couple rounds, you have 90% attack damage on top of what it already is. So it'd be at like 150% attack damage against all it, and that's ridiculous. If that's, if I'm correct on that, that's actually pretty ridiculous. This is, he seems like a crowd control. He's just going to hit everyone and, you know, just wear them down until they all die. He's not going to go against, he's not like an assassin. So that is pretty cool. And the 10, ener 10 energy just allows him to do that more and faster than everyone else. So yeah, that is awesome. That's very cool, actually. So, um, you know, I thought first I liked, I liked Michelle better. I'm not sure. You guys should comment below which one you like better. Because this guy's... He seems like he's putting out some serious damage against your the whole the whole team, especially Rangers. But Michelle's putting out quite a bit of damage. She's putting out a decent amount of damage, really. And has a 40% chance to stun. And heals the lowest ally with 240%. So... Yeah, you guys just... Comment below. Let me know what you guys think.